Hello, in this video, I am going to show you the vertical alignment utility class or classes, I should say. So it's pretty simple. I will provide a link to this in the description. There's this vertical alignment on one line. I will demonstrate that and you can do it within a table as well. Pretty simple stuff. It's essentially the same thing. OK, so first of all, let me create a few pieces of text on say baseline. This is just going to be what the normal height is going to be. Top, this will be oriented at the top. Middle, this is slightly different to baseline. Bottom, text dash top and text dash bottom. Currently, it does nothing. We get this. Now, let's actually add the classes. So, if I just put these as a span, so they're all on the same line, the benefit of doing it that way is it ensures we can see where. We'll fix that error in a second. Ensures that we can see. There we go. Ensures we can see where each one is relative to, you know, the others. Okay, so if I do that currently, we should get see no change, which is good. Now what we're going to do is. How do I do so this square selection? I was thinking, where do I do that? I'm going to say class. Nice alt and then you you know click and drag. It depends on the text editor. And I'll put a line dash. This is where it changes. This will be baseline. This will be top, middle, bottom, text dash top, and text dash bottom. If I reload, I spelled a line wrong. Let me just fix that. Boom, done. So, as you can see, things have slightly adjusted relative to everything else. So, that is how you align text. And I guess it doesn't have to just be text, it could be just other images and other content as well, relative to what else is on that line. Pretty simple stuff. Like I said, you can implement it in a table. I'll provide a link to this in the description. And I want you to add an extra task, implement this, so you can see what it looks like when working in a table. That's it. If you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.